Today I'm just going to be doing a short demonstration of uh, how to melt some gold powder. I'll just quickly go over everything that I'm going to use and then I'll get started. As always we have your safety equipment. Got some heat resistant gloves here. A pair of safety goggles. Uh, here we have some raw gold. It's 66 grams of gold powder. And then I have 41 grams of already melted 24k gold. I have a stainless steel set of tweezers, um, some borax, a plastic spoon for the borax, and then I have this torch tip here. This is the TS8000 by burns o I have a, a foot long set of pliers I'll use for the crucible moving it around. And I have here a tank of uh, map gas, two fire bricks, a mold here, graphite mold, and a cr brand new crucible. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first step to melting the gold powders will be to give the crucible a nice uh, seasoning with the borax. What this does is allows the gold powders once they've reached the molten state to freely move around and come together easier. If you notice I've also placed the crucible on top of the graphite mold and I've also placed the 24 karat gold close to the crucible as well. This is done in order to keep everything uh, nice and hot. Um, you never want to add cold metals to molten metals or pour molten metals into cold uh, molds because these this can cause uh, extreme reactions such as um, explosions and you can be severely burned um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by putting a low flame for my torch onto the crucible just want to start it up slowly and heat very slowly so that you don't crack the crucible. You want to make sure to go around the lip of the crucible and evenly heat the inside. I'm just going to turn it up a bit. Turn it up some more. That way we can get the crucible nice and hot. What you're looking for is a, a red glow in the dish. And this is when you know it'll be ready for the borax. Being that this is a brand new crucible, this will heat up very quickly and accept the borax very quickly. Let's turn it up a bit more. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I'm getting a red glow around the lip. So this is pretty much ready to take the borax. So I'm going to stop the torch. Take the borax and just go around the sides.
very important that you don't put too much but you also don't put too, li too little you want to have a nice thin glaze make sure you get around the edges and the lip and what I like to do is on the side that I'll do the pour I add a little bit extra and I'll start the torch up again and this way I can make sure that the borax is 100 percent melted so I'm going to stop camera and uh, I'll start the melt Okay, we're back. Um, I just got done coating the crucible with borax to give it a nice glaze. I'm going to go ahead and add the gold powder. Um, this is 66 grams, which is a bit too much to put in all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the big clumps I have here, which will be a little easier to melt to get started. Then once I get that down to a molten metal, I'll add the remainder, and then once once that's done, I'll add the already melted 24K.